Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Damsey Fashion. We say thank you to all our subscribers that have been watching our video. Thank you so much. In this video, I'll be teaching us how to sew, cut and sew this beautiful princess bustier with a yoke. The measurements required are the full length. We have the half length, that's the shoulder to waist measurement, the bust, the waist measurement, the under bust measurement. Then the first thing is to divide our shoulder by 2. The shoulder here is 15. Divided by 2, we have 7.5, which is 7 and a half. Then we start from our starting line here. Mark 7 and a half. The next thing is to determine our chest line, in which our chest line is the bust measurement divided by 6 plus 2 inches. The bust is 36 divided by 6 plus 2. We have 8 inches. I mark 8 inches here. This is our chest line here. Then what we measured here, the 7 and half, we are going to measure 7 and half on the chest line too. Then you rule a straight line and connect like this. The next thing to do here is to come up by 3 inches. Then here we come in by 0 0.5 to determine our curve. Then from this neck here, we use 4. Then here, here you come down by 1 inch. You come back by one inch and mark it as same for your shoulder slope. Do you understand that? Then you connect back to the um, point for the neck like this. So after doing this, you connect it back to the 0 0.5 that we minus from the chest line. Then we are going to take measurements of our bust, divide it by four on the chest line. Like you can see the tape measurement. The bust measurement of this is um, 36 divided by 4 gives us 9.5. Then I mark that plus half to give us is. Then we connect back from this same point of the bust measurement to this line here that we deducted for the fitting. Note, we use 0 0.5 here because we are still going to take that intake on the yoke side when we are cutting. So here I am taking measurement of my shoulder to my under bust, which is 13.5, 13 and a half as well. I take it straight down. Then from the shoulder to the waistline measurements, I'm taking that measurement, which is 19. 19, do you understand that? So after I do this, I do it all the way so that I will make my ruling long. Then we are going to connect. After doing that, we are going to take measurements of our shoulder to nipple measurement, which is 10. Some shoulder to nipple might be 11 or 11.5 or 9, depending on how you measure the person. So you rule this way. We also call it bust point. Do you understand? Which will label BP, bust point. Then this is our W, um, UB, which is on the bust, then WL, which is waistline. Do you understand this? So, after doing this, the next thing is we are going to divide our nipple to nipple by 2. The nipple to nipple is 8. Divided by 2 gives us 4. So, we start measuring that from the bust point to the under bust, then on the waistline. After that, you connect the lines together like this. So, after doing this, what we are going to do is to check from this um, point here to determine where our yoke we start from. I want some might use six, seven, or eight, depending on how deep you want the yoke to be. But yeah, I'm using I'm using five. Some might use six. So this is where my arm O is going to connect to the bust point. Then you take your curve ruler like this to connect to the boss points, to give us that princess look. Then 
you connect as shown from that yoke line to the bust point. Sometimes we divide the chest line by two to get that, but most times it might be too up. So yeah, this is our under bust. We want to take in our bust, our under bust tightening. I am using one here, then you go down and also use one too. Then you connect by rolling a straight line like this. So after doing this, I come to the side by 1.5 and 1.5 and you connect. That means I am taking in 2.5 for all my under bust measurement because I am using the bust measurement of 36. But if you are using the bust measurement of 40 above, you use like three or so. So you connect from there to the um, bust point. As you can see this, please make sure your curve ruler is like this, the way I am placing it. And don't do it the other way around. Do you understand that? Make sure your cover lies like this while you are connecting it. So after we have done this, the underboss tightening is already perfect. Now we come to the arm O. You come that by one inch on this line. On this um line, you come down by one inch. Then you extend outside by one inch. That's for the princess look. So that it will not give us a shorter effect after, after sewing. Because our princess, that side is always shorter. You extend the line. Because that will be our new arm hole line. Then you connect back to the bust measurement that we divided. As you can see, then you curve it back. Please don't forget this. It's better for all these things to be longer than to be shorter after sewing. That is the essence. Then you connect back to this bust point here. Take your ruler like this. Then you connect. It might not necessarily be on the bust line. Like meeting, touching the bust line, it might a little bit touch it or not touch it at all. So anything that happens to it is that you are going to add it to the measurement after doing that. So we are coming to the next side to um, create our neck depth. I am using four inches. I'm using four inches. You might use 3.5. Because depending on how high you want your neck to be, do you understand that? Any neck design of your choice, you might use five, you might use six. Maybe you want it to be long, but because this is a yoke, when you are dealing with yoke, most times their neck is usually high. Then you come down to this um, bust line to do our bust calculation. Bust divided by four, you add it. Then the ones that is remaining here, which is 0.75, I add it back to my bust measurement. You come to the under bust. Under bust measurement divided by 4, which is 30 divided by 4, 7.5, which is 7.5. As you can see, I marked that. Then the two and a half bust intake, you add it back to the side. You come to the waistline. Waist 32 divided by 4 gives us 8. You come down here, bust the um, waist intake, which is two and a half, you write, then you connect it back to give us our measurement. I hope you are getting that. Thank you for still watching to this moment. So that is already done and perfect like that. What we are going to do now is to determine our cleavage. Yeah. If you are not using any um, yoke, this is perfect for your um, princess bustier. But once you are using a yoke, you start calculating the yoke depth and to connect them to where it is supposed to be. So now I want to determine my yoke depth. How I want the cleavage to be. I use 8.5, which is 8.5. My side to use free hand to shape it out, or you come to your curve and use curve anyway. You can see I'm positioning it, I'm trying to look for where and how I want it to look like. That's my curve. Do you understand? So you can use it any way around. So I make my choice to use it this way, then I connect it. 
Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I make it a little bit depth, but I decided to add more to the depth. So you label this yolk. And labeling your um, pattern is very, very important in pattern making. Please, labeling of pattern is important. Label this as center front, and this is the side front. And don't forget, our center front is on fold. After doing this, don't forget we used to take in um, the darts for the side because our back is usually shorter. Yeah, the first thing I did was that I was adding the um, sewing allowance. I added two inches for the sewing allowance. But if you want to do yours, take the dart intake before adding the sewing allowance. You can see I label sewing allowance. This makes you understand everything you are doing very well when you are doing things. So I will come back to my dart intake. The first thing is I went to my back. I have wrote the lines the way I wrote the front. We did the chest line the way we divided our bust by six plus two inches. Then I added the zip allowance of two inches, as you can see the way I wrote it down. Then I have wrote down my bust point and my waistline. The waistline of the back, the waist of the back shoulder to waist is 18 inches. 18 inches. You remember the front is 19 inches. I decided to come and do the back before removing the darts for the um, front, the side that so that you can understand me. The same way we did our um, neck measurements, we came down by one inch for the shoulder slope, then the neck width of um, four. Yeah, we go up by three inches and we came in by 0 0.5 for the um, curve here in the ham hole. Then from the shoulder, I connect back to that point, as you can see. So after that, we come to our chest line, the way we did the front, we divide our bust by four, which gives us 9.5, as you can see that. Then we are going to connect back to that line. Take your curve ruler, connect exactly from that point to the second point. Make sure it's steady. Please, while you are doing all these things, don't forget you are using pencil. We only use marker for illustration purposes. So we so we determine the neck depth by using 9 inches. Because I want it to be deeper. Then you rule a line. You extend it to the zip allowance. Do you understand that? Then we connect back to our neck width. Using the curve ruler this way. That's because I am using a round neck. We want to use a V neck or the, depending on the kind of neck you want. But this is a round neck, a kind of scoop neck with a zip. So after I have done this, the next thing to do is to divide our nipple nipple by two to get our our, our dart width. You do it straight down like this. Then you rule and connect. So after doing this, our dart intake, I used 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That is half, half. My use 0 0.75 or use one inch, depending on what you want. But this waist measurement and the bust measurement is not so far from each other. As many as it's when you have a bust of 45, the waist of um, 32, stuff like that you have to take in more that allowance say so at this down i divide my waist measurement by four which is eight plus one inch that allowance i added it back then we connect it back to the bust line that we have divided earlier after we might have done this the next thing is to add my sewing allowance because i added it to the front too which is two inches, then you connect this way. So for me, I like indicating on everything so that you can see the back length and the front length are different because the front is longer than the back. This is why I'm showing you this. We take our dart intake here, which is one. The back is 17. That's for the shoulder to width. Then the front is 18. So I took in one inch intake here. 
as you can see it here and i extended it to the sewing allowance and you cut this way so that you can shift in the dart together you slash one side to put together and i use my cello tape to tape it together then we cut it out remember cutting out um the additional one inch at the armhole side you remember we've cut we've cancelled that first armhole then you follow through my cutting process while cutting so let's go then after this the back side you are going to cut in this side please take note of that area because we have added back our intake at the back you know we took in back intake then this is my pattern i have added half half inch allowance then half, half inch allowance to the up to the shoulder and to the down so after cutting that out i have gone ahead to iron my interface in a hand stay to it paper stay you can iron your yes stay to it then my wording i've added it to reaching the underbust notch and also the middle this is how your wording will looks like it will not reach this edge here and it will stop directly under your notching do you see the notching it's going to stop there then i have iron on my back pattern too and this is the lining i have cut what we are going to do now is that we are going to sew the lining to the um to the fabric at the back part this is my notching which shows the zipper side this side will now be the neckline since this is the zipper side so you sew through here yeah then you sew down by half inch then you sew this size by half inch we do that on both sides of the back then we notch and turn over and for the front we are going to sew and place this way together here yeah. then we sew half inch round we bring here then we sew here and don't forget we have notching at the underbust after sewing this i will show you how it looks like before we proceed to ironing so after sewing this is what the back looks like then i trimmed it and notched this side and after doing that i turn it over and it looks like this so the next thing i'm going to do is to give this back a nice press then i i am going to hold my darts with the length we used on the pattern paper i am going to do that then for my yoke the net i have sewn around the neck and i have trimmed it please whenever you are trimming your net make sure it's as tiny as this like cutter of an inch so that it will not be too giving you some kind of buggy effect and the sewing will not be showing outside then i'm going to turn this over to and iron it the next is my boss here my princess but here the main game of the video this is it after sewing half an inch or two as you can see it what i'm going to do now is to trim it start to um, notch it you start the clinching from the honda bust round so after doing this you are going to get your tailor's arm tailor's arm so that we can use it to give it a nice press you are Side. so after doing that i turn it over to the front then i give it a nice press so as you can see our princess bossia is standing so neat and so perfect if your bossia is not standing like this please make sure you watch this video carefully and you learn it very well so after ironing we take our yoke after pressing it we are going to take the middle this way with the middle then you take your your lining you place the middle here too and you pin 
after painting you bring this like this like this and like this as you can see and you take your lining to the same place so then you take your hemming gum like this then you sew half an inch all through this way then this way after doing it you are going to sew these sides too straight down then the second side then we come back and give it a nice press so after turning over i hand and this is what it looks like as you can see this is what it looks like the next thing is our back i have put the darts and iron it the next thing is to join the shoulder this way right side facing each other then we join this place by half inch join it by half inch if you see this place after joining it you realize there is an excess here remember we added one inch to the arm hole. that's to avoid shortage so we are going to trim it off at the front like this so that it will be equal to the back line then we sew to measurement in this case you can decide to use this as your blouse or as your gown if you are using it as a blouse you are going to attach your flare that's the peplum at this edge here and if you are using it as a gown you add the downside the skirt side of it so after everything i will show you the end result of this so guys this is how it looks like i added my applique to it on my sleeve thanks for watching this video to the end if you are yet to subscribe kindly subscribe to damn the fashion and turn on your notification button bye see, see.